I was the first one diagnosed with ovarian cancer. When I was diagnosed, it was kind of a shock because it's one of those cancers that you really don't know you have until it's a little bit advanced. So I was in the latter part of stage three. Unfortunately, with gynecologic malignancies, it is the most deadly, however, that a woman can have. Probably 75% of women within the first two to three years of diagnosis, even if they've been in remission, will recur. This is one of those sort of nationwide, you know, national trials that, that we participate in here at Florida Hospital Cancer Institute. So it's one of many that we can provide our patients. I am very excited by it. What they did initially is they baseline. So for a little over a week, they give you a pedometer and you, you know, calculate how many steps you typically take in a day without any changes. And what you eat and the kinds of foods and the calorie and fat and fiber counts, those kinds of things. Other studies have shown that, you know, if you can decrease the amount of fat in someone's diet, um, if they can live a healthier lifestyle, if they avoid obesity, they, you know, the trend is towards better prognosis and they may do better, but it deserves study. And that's what we're working on this for to, you know, try to find out if that's true for ovarian cancer really not difficult to do and I think that the most difficult part is keeping the fat counts down. I do think there's enough compelling data in some of the other tumors to suggest that healthy lifestyle, avoidance of obesity, increasing physical exercise has a, a positive force in the terms of a patient's prognosis moving forward. It's certainly not the holy grail, you know, it's not the only thing, um, but if we can find something that can impact it in any way, especially in ovarian cancer where and again, the recurrence rate is so high and the overall survival is so poor, then you know, we'd like to uncover that. I feel happy to be alive. I feel very blessed that there's such a wonderful team of doctors and nurses here. And I'm very privileged to be part of this study because I hope and pray that the result is that diet and exercise will help people prevent recurrence.